So I'm out here in the garden bed, and what I've done is I've put down a layer of pea seeds. I've broadcasted them and kind of sewed them a little heavy because they're my oldest of all of my pea seeds. And this is a bit of an experiment. This is kind of like my permaculture mix it up spring seed edition. I've done this in other ways with other plants, but never with this mix. So I am then putting a layer of compost over the top of the peas, which then plants them into the ground. And then on the top layer of that compost, I'm gonna do my much finer seeds like carrots and radish and lettuce. Uh. Yeah, carrots. He loves carrots. <laughs> and we're gonna put those on the top layer. That way, if the pea seeds are good and they come up, I can thin them and just eat the ones that I cut out as an addition to my salad because spring tops of your peas are edible. The green is edible, the stem is edible. So I can just add that to a salad as it comes up as a microgreen, <laughs> if there's too much of it. And then as the peas grow up and I'm harvesting them, the carrots and the lettuce will come up underneath. And by the time the peas are dying, because they die really quick in the spring here in Georgia, then my lettuce and carrots can flourish. Ryan was working at the farm for the company he works for. He works at a compost company where they drop off all the compostable material so that they can turn it into compost. And he was working at the farm last week and the people out on the farm were planting blackberries, thornless blackberries, and they were trimming off the excess root. And Ryan was able to get a whole five gallon bucket of them and thornless blackberry grow wonderfully from root cuttings. So he's about to use the potato plow to get a row dug for us and we're just gonna plant it down that row and it's gonna be good to go for some beautiful spring canes to emerge. Moisten these roots up real good. They were just dug yesterday, so they're not too dried out. We've been keeping them in the shade. Just now gotta soak them a little bit and put them in the trench. I cannot wait for thornless blackberries. What about you? I cannot wait. You love Are thornless blackberries? Uh -huh. Yeah, I really want to eat them. They're so sweet. And there's no thorns on them. I know, that's great. It makes it so easy to pick them. And they are the sweetest, aren't they, Rowan? Uh -huh. <laughs> They're the sweetest berry around. Yeah. What did you guys do over here? Is this what you planted? Uh-huh. Uh what did you plant? A dinosaur game. A dinosaur game? We that play looks like fun. Dinosaurs. That looks like a lot of fun. And there's a fog and turtle because that, and bugs because that, and fish because that, those used to be in the dinosaur period. And the huge bugs, so huge the, bugs. Yeah, so the bugs and the frogs and the turtles were during the dinosaur period. What is the dinosaur period? It's there are multiple. The, there is all the, of the, the dinosaurs. The Triassic, Cretaceous, and Jurassic. It starts out with the Triassic, then Jurassic, then Cretaceous. Wow, you know a lot about your dinosaurs, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's fish for the Spinosaurus. Oh yeah, because the Spinosaurus eat fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think our water is full. All right, so we've got two very nice rows dug for us without breaking our backs. <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and take these root pieces. You can see they're nice and thick and healthy pieces, so they'll do just fine growing a new plant. 
and we'll just lay them down in the trench and we'll just do the whole trench with all of this and then cover them up water them in and soon we'll see new sprouts Coming uphill now, Liam. There is nothing sexier than a man that wears a baby while gardening. <laughs> Baby's like, I don't know how much longer I want to put up with this. I'll take you in a minute, baby. So what we've got going on here is the perfect blackberry habitat. Blackberries in the wild like to grow at the edge of the forest coming out into the sun so we've got these growing just like that and it's the perfect permaculture berry setup I'm hoping to get some ever bearing strawberries to plant underneath them and in front of them and just kind of let the strawberries come out as they wish all through here and that'll be an extra layer of berries for us to enjoy and to just let the kids go crazy picking berries all summer long. Our friends at Strange Company have everbearing strawberries available for sale right now. I will leave a link down in the description for those if you are local. <laughs> Little Odin did not want to be a helper anymore. He hasn't been feeling so great. Over the last couple of weeks he's been teething. He cut his first tooth last weekend. It's it's in there. You, you show us? You show us? Open your mouth? You open your mouth? No? No, honey, you just want to me. And then right after he cut his first tooth, he came down with what I believe is roseola virus. If not, it's some other just baby virus that they get where they just feel miserable and run a fever and not happy so he's been very clingy with mama but today he's feeling much better so this has been his chance to get some fresh air so he's feeling much better today getting some sunshine and fresh air to help his healing yes right but he's still a little bit picky about how he wants to be held <laughs> babies Some people have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. But I don't know what to do, staring into the blue sky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mama, where would you Hold on, hold on, go slower. Where's do a more the... thorough drenching of the dark compost soil. Mama? Yep, go back over what you already did. Now go down a little another section. To fresh, yep. Good job. Mama. Looks like you got this figured out, buddy. We're at the dock. Perfect. You're doing this like a professional horticulturist. You know that, right? No. You know it runs in the family, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, this 
looks like carrot seed, but it's in a bag that's labeled watermelon. So I'm gonna sprinkle it down here and I want you to cover it a little, okay? Is that oh, watermelon? It's not, I know it's not. I think it's carrot, but I don't know what kind. So I'm gonna let it germinate, make sure it's carrot before I put it on. I'm covering it. Thank you. You're welcome. And there was a one piece there. Oh, these might be carrot seeds. We're not very sure. That's why we're planting them. Or they're watermelon seeds. Because they're not watermelon, I said. You know what watermelon seeds look like. Come on. They look like white stuff. Yeah, they're big. Too. And these are white. But the watermelon seeds are big and teardrop shaped, aren't they? Yeah. Those are flat and skinny and tiny. There's a big difference. Yeah. I'm just looking for some of you guys. So when they germinate, I'll be able to tell if they're a carrot or not. And if they are a carrot, then I'll plant them okay. like a carrot. That's what I think they are. Are you planting seeds too? Here, can you break this clump of soil up for me? This compost isn't a clump. Can you break it? Smash it? But judging by the root, I think it's a big seed. Maybe something like a squash or a pumpkin. Let's see if we can find it. Follow the root. It's gotta be close, right? Yeah. Oh, oh there's a seed shell. It's not, maybe it's a tree. See, it's brown, see it? Yeah, it might be. An acorn tree or... Maybe. Let's see if we can um, get more of the soil off. Oh, that's more smaller than an acorn. Yeah, it is smaller than an acorn. Oh, no, he's eating soil. So that's a much... Okay, you can see where it's coming out of the seed. Uh -huh. All right, that's pretty small seed for such a big root. What do you think? I don't know. Do you want to plant it and see if it'll grow? Yeah. And maybe we'll find out what it is. Yeah. I don't recognize that seed. Yeah. It might be a tree seed from the wild. Yeah. Maybe. You want to plant some turnips or rutabaga? I want rutabaga. You like rutabaga? Uh-huh. What about Swiss chard? I don't even know what that is. It's the one that, that kind of looks like beet greens, but they have like a red stem down the middle, and when we cook them, they make everything turn red and juicy. 
Yes, but is there beets? We can plant some beets. I want beets. Yellow, red. What color? Uh, red. Okay. Red, 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 red. That we are living in. <laughs> These first couple of beds are gonna be like awesome. I wanna be like, man. I'd have to buy some. <laughs> <laughs>